Hey y'all, it's Betsy and Mama from Happily Ever After, etc. And we are back with another cruise video. So this week we are cruising on the Carnival Splendor. We're in Australia, but that's kind of irrelevant because we're here to talk about the spa. So we are currently in, relaxation in the relaxation room. room, which is open for relaxing, but typically they use these rooms as kind of waiting areas waiting for either the beauty salon or the massage places upstairs, anywhere you might have an appointment in the spa. Um, and there are quite a few services that you can book. I will show you. I did book a massage a couple of days ago with some of our onboard credit, and I took a picture of their full menu because that is one of the I don't say it's a problem, but the frustrations with the spa is that until you've booked a cruise, you can't go online and just see the prices for all of the services. You either have to be booked. You can kind of see it if you're you booked. Can, yeah, if you're booked. That's what I'm saying. You have to be booked. Yeah. You either have to be booked on an upcoming cruise or wait until you get on the ship to see if there's any specials. Yes. If you're just wanting to go look at a master list of the prices, that doesn't really exist. So I did take a picture of their embarkation day specials, which was the first day and second day. They do also have port day specials. For the most part, the specials tend to be about the same price, regardless of where in the cruise you might get them. They also do have coupons from time to time, say for your birthday, you might get right. $50 mm -hmm. off or um, you can win spa services in the casino, things like that. If you are just an average cruiser like us and you don't want to spend a million dollars, there are other ways to enjoy the spa. So mom actually booked us this week for, what is it called? Is it? I got us a weekly uh, spa day passes. Yes. So we can come in. Well, not weekly. It's for the whole cruise. It's for the cruise. You can purchase so. just a single day pass, I believe, if you don't want to do the whole right. cruise. But it was what a hundred and it was a hundred and seventy each. Yes, and this is an eight-day eight day cruise. cruise, so it's going to depend the so price not too bad. a little bit based like on the length of your cruise. Twenty something dollars a day. And what does that include? It includes all the um, just a um, the day spa pass um, is it lets you go into the different. Um, rooms that the spa has such as you can well anyone can use the um workout the room. workout areas That's the gym portion is free. included in the price of right. the, the cruise if you want to do a class there is an extra cost for that but if you want to use the day spa um pass you get to use the philosophy therapy pool which is like a big hot tub but it's huge and it, it's it puts, I don't know. What about it doesn't get as hot as a hot tub, yes. but it has what yes. they call healing properties. Healing properties We're not water. quite sure what those are. We haven't gotten a direct answer, but it's very nice and relaxing. It feel and good. It's typically like this open to the ocean. The spa's yes. at the front of the ship, so it has these floor to ceiling sea views all the way around, all, yes. almost every single room in the spa. And you can either stand or you can kind of lay down in the philosophy. They have uh, benches. A reclining like, um, bench that's made out of, it's of like metal, metal metal bars that go But it's comfortable. Um, it's not uncomfortable. So it's very comfortable when you sit on and it. And I will bring you around to show you yes. all the different areas. But I'm trying to do it, of course, when it's not busy. I don't want to get other people in the videos that right. don't want to be in the videos. I'm trying to be respectful. Um, then they have uh, a tepidarium room, which has these these ergonomically shaped loungers yes. that are covered in tiles. tiles. And, they, and have, they are heated. Yes, so they have two different rooms on this ship, one with less heated and one with really heated. I laid in the, the yes. really heated one yesterday and I had tile marks on my back yeah, for it's, a couple hours. It feels so good. But though. it really helps relax your muscles and it's it open to the to the ocean and everybody and, is and, very quiet in there. And the, and the one is so comfortable. I mean, I fall asleep every time I go in there. She does. And Betsy's like, yes, you were snoring. I like to read my book, but she likes to take a nap. Yes. A lot. I told her I, we were in there a couple of days ago, and she and two other gentlemen were just snoring the whole time. There were three of us, I think. It was a chorus. 
Yes, it was very... They very also nice. do have two different um, steam, steam rooms, room. uh -huh. again, with different levels of heat. So depending on what you want to and to try. They have like aromatherapy in those steam rooms. So yes. that it, it's really nice. If you like steam rooms, it's very, very nice. So. so from there, that's I think that's pretty much everything that's included yes. in that mm -hmm. pass. You can book separate services, everything from the beauty salon where you can get your hair or your nails done to the massages. I did a seaweed wrap, the first time I've ever done that, but it was great. It was seaweed wrap and massage. They said it's the longest uh, service that the spa offers, and it was almost a full two hours. So. Yes. I liked it, but I will show you. I did take some footage of the room upstairs. I ended up going at seven o'clock at night, so the window to the ocean wasn't open. It would have been dark outside, so it's irrelevant. Oh, that's true. <laughs> but we did a we did a spa massage on the horizon. On the horizon. When we yes. went with my younger brother, and the windows were open, so you could see the ocean. Yes. So. We're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start at the beginning of the spa right when you come in. And of course there's a desk right when you come in. So if you have any questions, the guys and gals who work the front desk are great. They will help you decide what you need or what you don't need. And yes. they're gonna try to sell you as much as they can, but they are very helpful. Yes. Um, and then you can come in, there's a locker room to put all your things and- Take shower. Take a shower, put on your swimsuit, oh, depending yeah, on where you're going. Whatever you wanna do. And then you enter the actual spa area. So how they do it when you buy a spa pass is you hand them your sign and sale card. Yes. And then they hand you a key. And they put, like when you have the, the spa pass like we do, they put a sticker on our yes thing and then that they means will, we have it for the week for the week so they will hand you a uh, card for the actual spa areas that you can now, use to open the rooms the other way that you can use the spa is to buy a spa cabin yes and the spa cabins are more expensive they are substantially more expensive than, than just a standard interior room getting a cabin they have spa interiors and they have on some ships they have um, ocean views and on most ships they have balconies. balconies. Um, but they're usually located near the spa. Either below or adjacent to, depending on how the right. layout of the ship works. And they have special spa robes. So you can just come right up to the spa and your robe and you don't have to go through, like we're down on deck six on the other end of the ship. In the spa so on deck to 11. come up to the spa, we have to walk the entire length of the ship and then come up to 11. Right. If we had booked a spa room, I believe on this ship, they're on deck 10 yes. and they have an elevator to mm -hmm. just come directly up to the spa. You don't have to so it's kind wander of nice. the whole ship in your swimsuit or bring clothes and change but when you get here. Honestly, it's a ship. Everybody's in their swimsuit. Everyone's in their swimsuit all the time. All so the time. it is it is not a big deal you to see people put your swimsuit on and come to the spa. In their swimsuit, they put their cover-ups on, they go eat, they go back out to the pool. It's a cruise day. vacation. Yeah. Swimsuits required. Yes. So, but the spa cabins, um, you can have two to four people in a spa cabin. Only the first two people get to use the spa, unlimited spa um, privileges hmm. without any um cost additional cost right if that's you, interesting yeah I didn't the know that. third or fourth person would have to buy a pass oh. um they do have spa um Robes products and products in, in the, the room. bathroom so, so they have a special shampoo instead of the standard blue carnival shampoo yes and then they also give you a body analysis mm -hmm. is included with your spa cabin and i believe you get a cup uh, a pass to a um, the exercise class and there's like special scrubs that they give you to use. And I wonder so if they have the nice. fancy spa towels. When I did my seaweed massage, they, they had a giant use. bath sheet in the bathroom instead of the tiny uh, spa towels that they give you just to go to the Thalassa therapy pool. Yeah. So <laughs> they probably but, have the I mean, fancy it's ones. It's nice. And I know Kathy, whenever my friend Kathy, whenever she goes by herself, a lot of times she'll get a spa cabin. Especially loves, if so. you're a solo cruiser, it's nice to be able to come up here and just relax yes. away from all of the kids and the other people on the ship. There's a lot of kids on this cruise. Yes. All right, so let's go ahead and I'll bring you all up to the front and we'll just walk through the spa so you can really see um, where everything is.
All right, y'all, so if you take the elevator down to 10, you find this whole little area which connects to the spa cabins. So if you are staying in a spa cabin, you can use your fancy robe to come right from your cabin into the spa without having to leave, go anywhere else in the ship, even out to the main elevators. And of course, if we go up to 12, that is where the massage area is. So. Deck 12, sound deck. I'm gonna put some footage in of the whole upstairs area from when I got a massage earlier today, and then we will come back to conclude the video. So, all right, when you get off the elevator, And that's it. If you have any of your treatments up here, you'll check in at the desk, wait in the relaxation area, and they will get you back for your massage, facial, acupuncture, whatever it is. And that is it. Now, the only other things to remember are that, of course, from week to week, depending on how many days the cruise are, the uh, spa package may be a different price. Last week, when it was eight days, mom and I paid $159 for the whole week, and the the Lassa therapy pool and the uh, tile bedroom sauna area. This week with nine days, it's 179. You can also wait like we did uh, for the very last couple days. They have a spa raffle. It's always on almost the second to last sea day. You can find it on the uh, fun times. And while you can win money to the spa, you will also get a pretty good deal. I'll put the flyer up on the screen here. So if you want to wait for a good deal, the end of your cruise, get a massage before you head back to the real world, that's always a great option. So either way, spa time is always good time. So hope you liked this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I will answer anything that I know, or maybe somebody else will answer because I am sure there are much more experienced spa people out there than me. Thanks for hanging out, y'all.